I am Anil Kumar and here is a test question for you. Determine whether each table of values represents a relation that is linear, quadratic or neither. We have two questions, part A and part B. You need to figure out whether this given data represents a linear, quadratic or neither of them. How will you do it? You can pause the video, answer the question, then look into my suggestion. To find whether the data represents linear, quadratic or neither, we need to find finite difference, right? So let us first begin by finding the first difference. Data in part A is for x and y values. For minus 3, we have minus 7. At minus 2, y is minus 4. For minus 1, y is minus 1. And 0 and 2 are the last four coordinate points. Now first difference is y2 minus y1. Before taking out first difference, you should check that the x values are incremented by the same amount. Now in this case, they are incremented by 1, right? So, so it is good enough to find the first difference by finding y2 minus y1. So basically we will do y2 minus y1. So minus 4 minus of minus 7 is equal to what? So minus 4 plus 7, that is 3. Then minus 1 minus of minus 4 is equal to minus 1 plus 4, which is also equal to 3. And then we have minus 1 minus 2. So minus 1, I, I should write 2 minus minus 1, and that is equal to 3. So what we see here is that the first difference is constant, it is equals to 3 and therefore this data represents a linear relation. Now let's do the same thing for the second relation. So let me write first difference as delta 1. So we'll use calculator for the second one. Now in this case we have x values at 0, 1, 2 and 3. The y values are 0 0.0, 25.1, 40.4 and 45.9. So for finding the first difference, we will do 25.1 minus 0, 0.0 which is 25.1. Now let us do 40.4 minus 25.1. 40.4 minus 25.1. That gives us, let's check it in decimals, it gives us a value of 15.3. Now let's do 45.9 take away 40.4 that is 5.5. So first difference is not constant, this is not linear, right? So that much we know. Now let's check if it is quadratic. In that case we'll find the second difference. That is to say, we'll do 15.3 minus 25.1. 15.3 minus 25.1. That gives us a value of minus 9.8. Now let's do 5.5 take away 15.3. And that is equal to, again, minus 9.8. Now since the second difference is constant, the given data in part B is quadratic, right? So this one is quadratic in nature. So we have the second difference which is constant and it is equal to minus 9.8. So that is how this question should be done. Thank you and all the best.